hello guys welcome back to my channel today we will see how to use arcadius pro for uh, identification of solar energy potential areas uh, as we know we have different source of electricity so the alternative way of producing electricity is uh, using solar panels in the in current days uh, we can use rooftops for uh, solar uh, panel allocation so we will try to use arcadius pro uh, raster solar radiation tool so electricity production uh, accounts for amount of 20 percent to 25 percent of the greenhouse gas emission that are emitted globally and uh, one important uh, mitigation effort is finding the alternative way to uh, produce electricity from the clean energy sources like the solar uh, power um, to reduce the green uh, house gas emission so we are going to use uh, this arcadius pro to identify the rooftops that may have uh, maximum amount of solar uh, radiation radiation for a given uh, specific area so uh, solar energy has recently been uh, proven to be the least cost option for the new electricity generation uh, in many countries so most of the developing countries are using their uh, rooftops whether it is commercial or residential area as a solar panel uh, location so first we need to identify those buildings or uh, rooftops that may have uh, lots of solar uh, radiation so rooftop solar on the residential in the commercial buildings is one of the uh, fastest growing clean energy sources so the solar Radiation tool in ArcGIS Pro uh, allows us to map and uh, analyze the effect of the sun over a uh, given area of interest for a specific time period. So we can use uh, this tool set or ArcGIS tools or analysis tool to model how much solar uh, radiation a geographic or specific ge geographic area produces. You can just model in the analyze the total energy or solar energy emitted for specific geogra geographic area using this uh, solar radiation analysis tool in ArcGIS Pro so uh, we will try to use uh, this tool which is uh, in ArcGIS Pro it introduces uh, two new solar radiation analysis which is uh, raster solar radiation and the feature uh, solar radiation so in this tutorial we are going uh, uh, to use the first one which is uh, raster solar radiation um, analysis tool to identify the solar energy potentials of uh, buildings uh, rooftops so the result of this analysis uh, could help the department of energy and environment or any concerning body to identify the best candidate for the solar solar panel allocation so here i have opened my arcgis pro and we need uh, to add minimum of two inputs uh, to analyze the uh, raster solar radiation here i have added my buildings or building footprints and uh, uh, we need to have the surface or elevation surface to analyze the solar radiation here i have added my cell surface model for this specific area so we need to have this uh, the same or elevation model in the building footprints so uh, the tool uses these two uh, data layers to uh, find the rooftop that has uh, largest or highest solar energy uh, total amount of solar energy so once you have added the data just go to this geoprocessing tool and uh, under the toolboxes we have uh, so special analysis uh, tool tab then uh, in this special analysis tool we have uh, solar radiation or solar radiation uh, tools here we have uh, around four solar radiation tools from this we are going to use the uh, raster solar radiation so in this window we have to uh, give the necessary input for the tool to analyze the uh, solar radiation our input surface or raster surface will be the digital surface model and we have to specify the output file name and the location and here we have to specify the starting and ending time of the analysis so we are going to check for uh, solar energy for 2023 so we have to give uh, the starting date
so you have to give the uh, start in, in the day and the date in the time so i am just analyzing for 2023 then uh, you have to specify your specific time zone so for this area it is around the uh, washington washington tendency so you have i have to select the specific time zone for this uh, steady area so it is us eastern standard time and then make sure that you have uh, checked this box to adjust the time for the daylight saving time then the input analysis mask will be the building for prints then we are going to give the time interval to calculate this total solar energy potential for each uh, diesel surface model or dm cells so select this uh, box then we are going to specify time interval and we are uh, going to use the uh, uh, week unit and uh, we are going to check for the time interval of two weeks for each two weeks uh, the data will or the uh, tool will analyze the total solar energy for each uh, dsm within uh, two weeks and uh, once you have entered these parameters just keep the uh, other as it is or leave the default and finally you can uh, run the process So uh, a new layer is added to the map showing the result of the uh, raster solar radiation. The output of this uh, tool provides you with the amount of solar radiation for each cell of digital surface model in the raster layer in unit of kilowatt uh, hour per square kilometer. So therefore uh, you would have to uh, complete the post processing step to get the total and uh, average solar radiation for a specified area in the raster layer such as the uh, building tops or the roof of buildings. So the output of the layer is uh, symbolized to show the areas that receives uh, the most solar radiation in red color or the building with uh, building tops with the red color shows uh, the area that receives the most amount of solar radiation for the uh, first years of uh, 2023 and the least solar radiation or the building that receives uh, the least solar radiation in blue color as you can see from the uh, color lamp the highest one is 83 and the lowest one is 0.0167 so you can just see that which area has the most uh, solar radiation <coughs> from uh, this map so we can check it is a multi-dimensional data you can check for each specific uh, months of the 2023 years so uh, the result of this uh, solar radiation analysis can be uh, expressed by visualizing the amount of solar radiation over the time using the uh, time slider and by using charges that display the uh, change in solar radiation over time for the mask digital surface uh, layer so we can use uh, visualization or just by using uh, visualization additionally you can use the time slider to check which building tops or roof of buildings has highest solar radiation so we can use the time slider bookmark here in the bookmark you can select first the time slider then we can use the time slider tab in the chart to see uh, highest amount of the building that has highest amount of solar uh, energy bookmark. time slider here Then in this multi-dimensional tab, select uh, time. So here we can we have the time slider start time and in the time also we have span time span. So uh, we can specify the starting and the end time for this uh, uh, time slider. So the our starting date will be the first January of twenty twenty three. Once you have uh, edited the time profile or the profile of this time slider, we can use uh, this time slider bar to check uh, which months of uh, the year 2023 has highest uh, solar radiation for this specific or for each building uh, rooftops. 
so here is a time tab you can just click uh, this play button or play all steps button and you can check the uh, changes or happen on the uh, between these years or between these months as you can see yeah we can re so we can answer uh, by using this time interval you can answer the questions that which months do the building growth show the highest amount of solar radiation so as you can see from uh, the time slider from uh, the result of this analysis the uh, summer months of may june july and uh, august shows the rooftop receiving the highest amount of uh, solar radiation which is the due to the position of the sun for this specific area so we can identify which months of the year has a uh, highest amount of solar radiation for this specific area and you can also identify which building has highest amount of uh, solar uh, energy so after visualizing the amount of solar radiation over time using this time slider you can re replace the time slider and then we can check the lenses in the building that has highest amount of uh, solar radiation so after visualizing the amount of the solar radiation over uh, time using this time slider uh, you may or you may want to see the amount of solar radiation uh, generated so that uh, you can identify ideal uh, location for the solar panels so you can do this by using the temporal profile chart temporal profile chart will uh, help us to identify uh, the total amount of energy for each specific buildings so uh, go to this multi-dimensional in this we have a uh, temporal profile and then select this temporal profile chart and then uh, this window will open here then in this chart property you can select the define uh, an area of interest tool so here we can use the point uh, symbol select this uh, uh, point symbol then uh, define area of interest just click on the map first we can uh, select the building that has a light blue color which is uh, this area for example we can check uh, the total energy or the total solar energy for this specific building just click on this uh, rooftop once you have clicked on this rooftop the profile is generated for this specific uh, building as you can see it has uh, this kind of chart for this specific area then next we can select the buildings with a darker uh, color for example For example, you can select this building. So, as you can see, uh, this one has the first. The first one is somewhat uh, with highest with highest solar uh, energy amount in the second chart or second location or second roof uh, top has smaller uh, solar energy. Just we can check the color of the ma the. Uh, uh, buildings or the color of the uh, output and you can check which buildings has highest amount of uh, solar energy so uh, the charts this chart shows or this uh, temporal profile chart shows that uh, the point of the first location uh, generates more solar radiation over the course of the year then uh, it is placed on the darker uh, blue area of the roof so being able to identify the amount of solar radiation uh, that the rooftop can uh, generate over uh, the course of uh, a year and also the best location of the rooftop to place solar panels allow 
for the best utilization of uh, solar energy uh, power so just by using this arcgis pro uh, analysis tool you can identify the areas or the rooftop that has uh, highest amount of uh, solar energy radiation and uh, then we can place uh, the solar panels in order to generate this uh, electricity in order to reduce the green uh, house gas emission so if you have uh, any uh, comment on this tutorial you can just uh, write on the comment section and this is all about my today's uh, tutorial in this